everyone this is your kalpana here so in this video we are going to evaluate two integrals based on cos 2x formula okay let's get started so we know that cos 2x equals to 2 cos square x minus 1 or this is equals to 1 minus 2 sin square x okay so let's consider first one Integral square root of 1 plus cos 2x by 2 into dx equals to integral square root of. Let's consider cos 2x equals to 1 minus 2 sin square x. Or firstly you can consider 2 cos square x minus 1. Okay. So 1 plus you are considering since cos 2x equals to. 2 cos square x minus 1. Now replace cos 2x with 2 cos square x minus 1 by 2 into dx. Okay. Plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled. So this equals to integral square root of 2 cos square x by 2 into dx. So here 2 2 gets cancelled. And this equals to integral square root of cos square x into dx square and square root gets cancelled so this is equal to integral cos x dx okay so we know that integral cos theta d theta equals to sin theta plus c so now we are going to apply the formula this is equal to sin x plus c okay so we have used cos 2x equals to 2 cos square x minus 1 and we got sin x plus c so therefore integral square root of 1 plus cos 2x by 2 into dx equals to sin x plus c okay so let's substitute the other formula so we are having another formula cos 2x equals to 1 minus 2 sin square x. Okay. So this is equals to 1 plus. Now we are taking cos 2x equals to 1 minus 2 sin square x. 1 minus 2 sin square x okay so this is equal to integral square root of 1 plus 1 minus 2 sin square x simply i'm removing the brackets okay so this is equal to integral square root of 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 2 sin square x by 2 into dx Okay, in the numerator you are having 2 minus 2 sin square x. So, from these two terms you can take 2 common. So, you will get integral square root of 2 into 1 minus sin square x by 2 into dx. The 2 gets cancelled. Okay, since we know that sin square x plus cos square x equals to 1. Then cos square x equals to 1 minus sin square x. Okay. See here you are having 1 minus sin square x. So now we can replace 1 minus sin square x with cos square x. So this equals to integral square root of cos square x by 2 not 2. You have cancelled 2, right? So, you don't get 2. Square root of cos square x square and square root gets cancelled. So, this is equal to integral cos x dx. And we know that integral cos x dx equals to sin x plus c. So, we will get sin x. Plus C. The same one. 
Okay. So therefore, integral square root of 1 plus cos 2x by 2 into dx equals to sin x plus c. Okay. Now coming to the second problem. So second one, you're having integral square root of 1 minus cos 2x by 2 into dx. So here also you can use these two formulas. Okay, let's try the first one. So this equals to integral square root of 1 minus cos square x equals to 2 cos square x minus 1. Okay, by 2 into dx. So this is equals to integral square root of 1 minus 2 cos square x minus into minus plus 1 by 2. Okay. So this is equals to integral square root of 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 2 cos square x by 2. So you could write it as 2 into 1 minus cos square x by 2 into dx. I forgot to write dx, okay? Let it be. Okay, so this equals to integral. 2 to gets cancelled. So you get integral square root of 1 minus cos square x into dx. Okay, since we know that sin square x plus cos square x equals to 1. Then sin square x equals to 1 minus cos square x. So now you can replace 1 minus cos square x with sin square x. So this is equals to integral square root of sin square x into dx square and square root gets cancelled. So this is equals to integral sin x dx. Since integral sin x dx equals to minus cos x plus c. So, you will get minus cos x plus c. Okay? Fine. So, we got integral square root of 1 minus cos 2x by 2 into dx equals to minus cos x plus c. Okay, now let's solve this for the second formula. Okay, again I'm just considering the second integral. Integral square root of 1 minus cos 2x by 2 into dx which is equals to integral square root of, now we are going to take cos 2x equals to 1 minus 2 sin square x. So you will get 1 minus or 1 minus 2 sin square x by 2 into dx. Okay, this is equals to integral square root of 1 minus 1 minus into minus plus 2 sin square x by 2 into dx. Okay. So here plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled. So this is equals to integral square root of 2 sin square x 
by 2 into dx. Okay, 2 to gets cancelled, so this is equals to integral square root of sine square x into dx. Your square and square root gets cancelled, so you get integral sine x. You know that integral sine x is equals to minus cos x plus integral constant c. Okay, since integral sine x dx equals to minus cos x plus c. Okay. So you got the same answer. So you can use any of these two formulas to evaluate two integrals. Okay. Fine. So therefore So we have seen two integrals in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.